Yo guys, what up, the Blue Gangster here with another video. What I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. Um, also thought about making a German version, but I think this will be like short enough to even understand even if you're like a German native speaker, so fuck it. Anyways, what I'm gonna do here is to take the new moves engine from the Mishimas and kind of lab it so you can see what we can do here of course I can't find out everything until we see how it's probably used from the pro players as I'm not considering to be a pro player myself but whatever just stick with me so Jin's got only one new move and there are no patch notes out yet I probably should um, do this when the new patch notes are out but I don't think that they're gonna get new moves they probably gonna get nerfs especially Jin gonna get nerfs um, one thing I uh, know is that this thing right here on block um, wait a second this thing right here on block is zero it's not plus four anymore. It's still plus eight on hit, but it's zero on on block, just like the FF3 nerf, and that's a huge nerf because it's four frames. But then again, now I I have a bad feeling when when it comes to the patch notes because I think this is such a big nerf that there is not really something else that they are going to nerf or at least nerf as much as they did FF4 that's what I hope his new move um, back forward 2-1 down down 4 plus 2 this move um, I, I cannot see how it could be used as a good move in, in neutral or as, as something to go in because the startup of this move is 28 frames I think you can easily so you can yeah with Jin yeah that's pretty bad that's pretty bad because in the end it's it's not a real 50 50 because you don't have to be scared of the of the of this regular ender because you don't have to duck um, nobody really sidesteps it and both of those enders are minus 14 so there is not really a big change for the opponent when he eats it on block and you can you can if you if you're confident enough if you're confident enough you can go in with 13 probably 14 now nah, trades with 14 yeah trades with 14 so and but it's high crush at least at least something but but you get you get you get the uh, yeah 11 12 13 so the the next big thing that actually sucks is because I thought uh, when you do the easy forward for counter hit combo move that that's this one right to have this as an ender usually the combo goes like this and then you can go and do this stuff like that right so now it whiffs if it wouldn't whiff it would be pretty sick because you would get a better wall splat a little bit of higher wall splat and everything that will be cool so you can like use it for example here but the thing is not even the startup but the recovery is so bad that you don't even really get an okie yeah forget it like the the only good thing the go only good thing about this move is um the only good thing about this move is on wall you get a flip look um I'm gonna set the second hit on on block right so every time okay so if the second one is a counter hit the third one is is guaranteed right but 
I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Do it. Okay, so it. It's not steppable. Let's try to walk. Nah. No. Let's try again. Nope. Not possible. You 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 have to probably walk it, but the thing is the second hit if if the second hit is on block you you probably ain't got enough frames to walk it. Doesn't look like it. Maybe someone with a better sidestep can do it, but doesn't look like it so that's the two good things devil Jin also got just one new move and the funny thing is it's kind of like he trade moves with Jin, which makes sense because they're theoretically the same character um Jin got kind of this from devil Jin, and they swap this you know back f back forward two three so let's talk about back forward two three um, it's an extension to the laser scraper thing. It's a high. Yes, you can duck it, but, but, um, if I do this, look, the first one hits. This, the second one is is on block. Okay, so I do this, and you can see it's an NC. You can even delay it like like crazy you can delay it like crazy and it's still gonna hit right um, the third good thing about this is um, on block it's minus nine so it's safe like this is way better than Jin's new move way better the one thing that is not that good, but but I don't really care, is that um, it the the splat property, the carry property of this move is not that good. But who cares? I cannot sidestep it. Nope, not possible. It's not possible to sidestep. So this extension is pretty good. And as a the the best thing about this move is, in my opinion is when this hits and you can see it um, right here because we got the quick quick roll if this hits you get a guaranteed ok follow up you can even do like cd3 and stuff so they basically what they remove from up forward 4 the property they remove from up forward 4 even though up forward 4 is still really good you got it right here yeah, it's still it's still the same even if this first one is a counter hit. It's not really gonna do something for his wall game, like no setup or something. But Devil Jin already has everything he needs when 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 you got your opponent on the wall, so that really doesn't matter as well. They basically they basically what they did this new move here, back three uh, back three is it yeah back three two. It's, it's just it's just a tool for they they basically did this so you they can they can have an excuse of saying shit like okay now you got a 50 50 in here because nobody really used that move nobody really used that move okay it's safer especially on hit it's it's plus eight it's plus eight and the, the best thing about this move is but I think it's only, yeah, it's only if the the second hit one, yeah, the, the second one hits, you get, you it's it's a launcher. But using that in neutral just so the second one hits, I don't see that happening. Even when you like sidestep or something, I don't see that happening. Like, I don't know, what, what could we do here? Um, yeah, maybe some with hell sweep or yeah, something like that. If you, the thing is, you can't even really use it like 
forward 4823 is still the way better option. Still way better. Because it, it carries, it does not splat or something. It's it's still a it's a juggle move, but but the range is so bad that you I mean look at this. You have to instantly go like that's 55, right? You can't even do double electric. Nah. So, and if you want to do double electric, you still go with this. Then you have, like, even if we just do do with 55, it's it's the same, and it's like more inputs than you will do regularly. So, I, I try to do like stuff on the wall as, as re-wall splat and, and sight extension when, when, when something like, um, now come on, this happens on wall and then you do like sidestep and this stuff, mm, 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 does not work. De like. I don't know. I don't really think he 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 needs it because who is who is actually using this? This one is 14 frames, 14 frames. Everybody does does um, 13, and when you really want to go for 14, you use electric. So like that, that's not a combo starter. That's a splat and. Since Heihachi has like really bad lows, you don't even get like something guaranteed. Not not good Oki, okay, nothing. So having this yet yes it's safe, but nobody uses back three into whatever. So and and they really it's it's like better than this in my opinion. It's better than this one in my opinion, even if you like get a um a, uh, like ground split. It's this one, in my opinion, is still the uh, better option, but but it's not good enough to actually like even consider to to use something with back three in match. And his new move, wild standing one plus two, is probably the best buff out of all Mishimas. I don't know if, if it's the best buff in game, but it's definitely the best buff for for all the Mishimas. Like he won that. He won that. He he takes a W. Why? Because this is a wild standing move. And it's a it's a mid, okay? It's not a tailspin, it's it's not homing, but it's a it's a mid. So that means his vortex has another option here this thing as you can see causes a, a spin and it's plus these spins regularly um, uh, get you plus 14 plus 13 plus 14 something this move is plus plus 14 on hit now come on and minus nine on block. It's safe. Yes, you lose your turn, but it's safe. That means if you go for Vortex and you want to go for a... I don't want to risk shit option like um, Hell Sweep or Instant Wild Standing 2 or Electric. So um, these both, those two options can get ducked. You do this. And you don't have to worry about shit because it's mid and it's safe. Now, the, 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 the craziest thing about it is that it on hit it's plus 14. So that means if you do Vortex into this, you just can't start another one. You just can't start another throw out electric whatever. You got 14 frames. 14 plus frames. This is crazy. Like, I think it's it's a wall splat. Yes, it's it's not a 
good jackal tool, no carry, nothing. It's just a, a neutral um, range zero, let's say range range one. Yeah, range zero to range one move, but but the uh, but the uh, plus you get like on hit and on block, plus fourteen, minus nine. And you can you can vortex the shit out of this. This is crazy. No. Ah. How fast this move is? Thirteen to fourteen frames fast. So you gotta react pretty quick. And I think it's only only sidestep left, like regular Kazuya thing. You can of course walk it. But the thing is, that really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Like it's already hard enough since it's 13 frames min, and and it's actually on reaction. It's hard enough to step already. It's hard enough to step already. But then if you use it like you should properly, it with wave uh, as a vortex move, like a wave dash while standing, and the wave dash also tracks then it's like almost unsteppable yeah you actually I wanted to do a combo video just like I did for for season 3 but these are like it's just one new move and they're like not really jackal combo starters combo enders whatever so there maybe you can find something later but as of right now, I don't see any of these moves like that you can somehow include them in a combo. So that's why I didn't do it like I would regularly. That's why I did the slap thing right here. But just so you know what, what we have to deal with in a in a yeah right now. It's basically right now. It's it's already out. Damn. But that's that, if you got some questions or if there was something for the German audience they did not understand, just ask me. Alright? So thanks for watching guys, hope you like that. Um, the Blue Gangs is out, peace YouTube, word. Oh, and by the way, uh, Kunimitsu tutorial is coming.